Sometimes I legit have nightmares about having to go back to high school. And then I wake up from those nightmares and I'm very happy. <laughs> Hey guys, today I am so excited about this video because I think that this is one of the most fun tags that I've seen here on YouTube. So today I am going to be doing the how I did my makeup in high school tag and uh, high school, I remember high school very, very easily because it was only about four years ago that I was in high school. So I was looking through all of my makeup to try and figure out what makeup I wore in high school. It was still kind of hard to remember what exact products I used in high school, even though it wasn't like so long ago, but I actually found a lot of the exact products that I used in high school, like not even replacements, like the still same exact product that I used in high school. So to start out, I went to a private Christian school for high school and we obviously had uniforms. I don't still have any of my uniforms from high school. Those are long gone. I'm pretty sure I burned them. But I did have to wear like plain blue or white or green, I think, like t-shirts or collared shirts. So I figured this would kind of symbolize the uniform. And then every single day for my hair, I would pin back this side of my hair. No joke, every single day pretty much. And then I would go like that to make it a little bit poofier. And this is how I did my hair in high school. <laughs> Sophomore to senior year, I pretty much did my makeup exactly the same. I would either wear no makeup to school or I would wear this makeup. So the first thing that I would do is take this powder. This is actually a replacement one because I still use this sometimes, but I would use this exact powder from MAC. It's the Studio Fix powder. It looks like this and it comes with a little sponge right here. And I have the shade NC35. This is the shade that I wore in high school. And I would take that on the little sponge and I would put that all over my face. So I would just take it and this stuff is full coverage. In high school, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the best, it's so easy. But I'm pretty sure this is not good for your skin. It was kind of like you couldn't really mess up with it, so I really loved that about it. And then for concealer, every single day in high school I used the same concealer underneath my eyes. It was MAC Moisture Fix or Moisture Surge or MAC... Oh, I don't remember the exact name, but I use that all the time. I don't have that anymore, and this one is pretty much similar, and I just wanted to show you guys what I did. And I would just put this underneath my eyes like this. And then I would just blend it out with my finger. I had always seen my mom and my sister doing this with concealer. Even though I didn't really have dark circles in high school, I was always like, I gotta do this because I know that my mom and sister do it. So it must be like what real ladies do. So after I had concealer to cover up my non-existent dark circles, I would do my bronzer. And I still have the exact same bronzer that I used in high school. So it looks like this. It's NARS Laguna. And I would take it on this exact brush, which is the MAC 150, I think. It's kind of like rubbed off, but I've had this brush since like my freshman year of high school. So I would use this and I would go all in it and I would just put that all over my cheeks. I kind of did the same thing that I still do today. I would just put it all like in the hollows of my cheeks and all on my forehead. I kind of just put bronzer everywhere. I had no idea what the heck contouring was. I mean, some people started doing contouring when they were like senior year of high school, but I was always quite scared of contouring. So I would just bronze up my face. I'd make sure to bring it all down my neck. And I don't know if you can tell, but this brush sheds like crazy. Every single day, I feel like someone would be like, you have like a weird black hair on your face and I'd be like, oh, that MAC bronzer brush really always gets me. And then after I would be done with my bronzer, I would take the same MAC 150 brush and I would use this blush from MAC. Guys, I can't believe I still have this blush. I put it in a blush palette a while ago, but it's this one right here. As you can tell, I used it a lot. It's called Shy Beauty. I think it was a limited edition color from MAC, but this is the exact blush I used every single day all through high school. So I would take that on the same brush. It's really just like a really super light, slightly shimmery blush. It's not that good, I don't think. It barely showed up on my skin and that, that's what I liked. So I put that all over my cheeks. 
And then after I was done with blush, I wouldn't do anything else to the rest of my face. I would brush through my eyebrows. I remember I had this like spoolie brush that I stole from my mom, I think. But I just never thought to ever fill them in because I always pictured people that filled in their eyebrows to be people with like those like sharpie old lady eyebrows. So I was like, I am never doing that. But then I would take this. I would take this eyeshadow, this exact one, from Stila. It's called Kitten. Um, it's actually a really nice eyeshadow. It's super, super pigmented. And I would take it on my finger, and I would put it all over my eyelids. Very, very shimmery. <laughs> but I would take it and put it all over my eyelid. And I would also put it in the inner corner. But I wouldn't take it above my eyelid. I would kind of just leave it like that, and then blend in with my clean finger. I remember loving this eyeshadow so much in high school. I just thought it was the prettiest, most amazing eyeshadow ever. And I remember saving up any money I had and spending it on like this $20 eyeshadow. And I was just so in love with it. And I also remember in high school, I absolutely loved winged eyeliner. I would wear it every single dang day that I wore makeup. So I always used the same eyeliner. I still use this eyeliner today. It's the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. And I remember in high school, I wasn't the best at wings. I really wasn't, <laughs> but I still tried. I just remember I would try to do wings and it would just always end up looking way thicker than I wanted it to look. I remember my wings would be so thick and I knew, I knew in my heart that it didn't look good, but I still did it. I still did it. And these wings sure as heck are not even, but that's okay because they sure as heck weren't even in high school. After my eyes were done, Pretty much the last thing I had to do was my lips and I remember so clearly every single day in high school I would use the same lip gloss and it was called Balmy Nights. And if you guys remember Balmy Nights, please comment below because Balmy Nights was my jam. It was from Victoria's Secret and it was just this super, super glossy clear lip gloss and it smelled like mint and I wore it every single day in high school. I don't have Balmy Nights anymore, sadly, but I found this, which is just like a clear lip gloss that will have to do. In high school, I always just believed the glossier the better, so I would really pile on the gloss. And then I did a weird thing that my sister taught me. I don't know why we did this, but we did not want our lips to look red at all because both of our lips are pretty red naturally. So we would take our concealer and put it over our lip gloss. I don't know why. Just to make our own like nude lipstick, I guess. It was a very weird stage in our lives. So this is the final makeup that I wore in high school. It's so weird looking in the mirror because I can remember so vividly looking like this every single day. High school wasn't the best time in my life at all. I dealt with a ton of anxiety. I dealt with just a ton of stuff in high school that I did not enjoy very much, but I do have some good memories of high school, so it's just weird to look at this makeup because anybody would vouch for me this is the makeup that I wore every single day. And yeah, so I really hope that you guys liked this video. I know that this isn't like the most wild makeup ever, but it is way different than the makeup that I do now. So I really love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys very soon.